I think it's really important, especially for anybody active. Um, the more active you are, the more you embark on trying to build muscle, you're going to need to have protein in every meal. And again, you know, we're talking cleaner sources of protein, but like I, I am, you'll never find like boiled chicken on my plate. Like I ditched those days when I was 16 or 15 or 16. Like I realized after reading those bodybuilding magazines that maybe the low fat thing stuck for too long, but the, or the no fat thing stuck for too long, but the boiled chicken and, and, uh, you know, uh, a steamed broccoli thing that ended quickly for me. Cause I really, I'm not going to eat this forever. So I'll have some sort of fish or chicken or, but I, they'll, it will be, it will be cooked in a way that's, that's like, you know, it's got maybe some sauce on it, or it's got some, maybe it's, tomato sauce, it's anything to just make it a little bit more palatable and interesting without blowing the value of the meal. And then that last portion is where I put my starchy carbohydrates. And again, that's the part that some people say exclude them entirely because they're not healthy or they don't work for you or they're not, you know, beneficial long term. For me, it's been a godsend. And, and I do think I'm like most people, my body craves those carbohydrates. I choose things like sweet potatoes, which is my favorite, you know, or I'll have, um, rice or I'll have pasta, I'm not excluding them, but I don't put them in the portions that you would generally find.